absolutely freezing. I've got my coffee, which has warmed me up quite a lot. And what we're doing tonight is we're going to give fueling, shunting and parking buses a go. So this is, you can see how cold it is. <laughs> This is behind the scenes of to what happens in the bus industry. This is stuff people don't see, don't even know that happens. This depot has about 50 buses, give or take. So on a night time, it is left to a handful of team members who clean them, fuel them, shunt them, top any levels up, so that's cool and any engine oil, and then park them round the back, uh, ready for the morning run out. So once the buses have passed through the wash, it is down to the member of staff to park them here. So the buses will come through the wash, take a left turn into this little bay, then reverse park into this bay here, or however many bays across uh, they need to go. They're, everything's marked out on the floor, but with them getting a few more buses, it's kind of off. So it is a really skilled job to park. 40 foot bus in a space which is literally wing mirrors touching so these are parked relatively far apart so with this with these two buses particularly I can walk up the sides of them both however there is buses here which are literally wing mirror to wing mirror touching that is the level of precision some people worked on it's really dark and it's really late but I don't know if you can see but I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you that is how close they park together, which I can't walk down the bus. I can leave and lean in the gap, and I'm not going to go anywhere because the gap is too small to fit the smallest of people through. <laughs> was one out of many vehicles I'm trying to get as much of this as I can in video so if it doesn't seem to add up there's different buses it's because the running is fairly quick sometimes so I can't take as long as I really want to with doing a video because it is it's, it's a time pressured job this so it's really an act to getting it bang on there's no way after seeing that I'm gonna do it no way I'll end up writing two buses off so for my job interest and security, I'm going to let the professional do it. These are the pumps we use. These don't look very high tech, but believe you me, they are. The box on the wall records how much fuel each bus uses every day. So the management can look on how much money we are spending on fuel, and if there's ways to reduce spending as much money on fuel. The thing with biodiesel is it clogs up the fuel filters a lot quicker than it normally would with regular diesel. So the cost of fuel filters and replacing fuel filters twice as often 
outweighs the cost of buying regular diesel. So, so that's...
that has just felt forever. So it's really, really busy on the fuel lane. There could be a time where there's one bus that comes in every half an hour, but then just now in the past 20 minutes, there've been three buses in. So there's a lot I've missed, but hopefully there's a lot I've got. So I've cleaned buses, I've mopped sweat, and uh, made sure they're all right. The only thing I am not doing is parking. I'm leaving that up to the guy who's done it for the past year. I don't feel comfortable getting a bus 40 foot, eight foot wide, into a gap that leaves that much between the wing mirrors. I'm, I'm all right. So this is little 362. It's been cleaned outside, floors have been mopped, it's been swept. There's a lot that I haven't got on video because it's that busy. But with buses that come in, they get swept, mopped, cleaned, and then fueled. I've been using the jet wash tonight to clean all the buses. However, most nights they use the industrial bus wash. But it uses the recirculated water and it absolutely stinks. So I'd rather use the jet wash and fresh water than use disgusting smelling egg water. So that is life on a fuel lane in the, in the bus industry. I hope you've all enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Give me a like on Facebook. And I hope I've shown you an insight into an industry that you wouldn't normally see. That's the flat cap bus driver who's wearing his scrubs hat. He's not wearing his flat cap dirty. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please check back next week for another video. So I'm now in my car. I've done a little bit tonight. I've probably done about two hours. Thank you. I'll stick these on. And take my hat off, I'll get a bit of... Ooh. I've got a dab on. But no, I've done a few hours tonight on the fuel lane and it's completely opened my eyes to what goes on. I just turn up and my bus is ready, it's fueled, and it's kind of looking into somebody else's job. And it's kind of the people behind the scenes. It's not just us as bus drivers. But it's people behind the scenes who make this possible. I wouldn't be in a position of a job if it wasn't for the people who cleaned them, looked after them. So this is, for me, it's a job appreciation. It's appreciating other people's job. And that, for me, is something I wanted to gain out of this. I wanted to see what other people did in the industry. Because other people won't necessarily see this. It's literally down to me to open my eyes. When I come in on a night, you've seen on my videos, I just park bus up and go get a coffee. And that's it, I'm done. But tonight, it's opened my eyes to actually see what goes on and how hard it is. So I'm going to be a bit nicer now and actually offer to help a bit more. I hope I've shown you something completely new. And that's a flat cap bus driver who's signing off today. I'm going to go home now and enjoy a lovely dinner. If you haven't already, please click that subscribe button because it means so much when I get new subscribers because it means I can get better content. And as always, have a lovely evening and take care.